and see the, the ambassadors and high commissioners of our countries. Professor Nandi, very respected uh, uh, chairman of the Sahit Academy, Ajit Kauji, other at the podium and uh, uh, distinguished poets, uh, novelists, and uh, the admirers assembled in this gathering. It's indeed a great uh, <coughs> privilege for me to address this uh, unique gathering, that of the poets and uh, fiction writers uh, and other creative writers uh, of uh, uh, South Asia. It doesn't happen uh, uh, frequently. Uh, it has been happening once in a while, uh, thanks to the untiring effort of uh, Ajit Kauti. Uh, without that, it would not have been happening at all. I think uh, I am therefore most grateful to her for inviting me here. And I would say that uh, we are gathered here uh, not only to celebrate uh, uh, the poetry and fiction of South Asia, but celebrate uh, a life which is totally dedicated to promoting it. This is the life of Adikari. Have, uh, I came to know her more than 20 years ago and have seen her carrying out her uh, virtually lonely mission over years. And uh, since uh, such things do not go uh, unappreciated and unrewarded, it was not surprising when I uh, functioned as a kind of a jury of a very prestigious award on behalf of uh, Sark to be given to one person who has done most for promoting South Asian cooperation. And not only in the field of culture and art, but overall. And it was the unanimous opinion of the judge that it was a good call. And uh, uh, nobody could uh, conjure up any name which came even closer to the dedication and commitment <laughs> that she has displayed uh, towards uh, South Asian cooperation. And uh, it so happens that the award could not be given this year, that year. And then uh, uh, particular factors have always played. Uh, uh, a role in South Asian uh, politics and in SAR cooperation. And in that case also, it unfortunately political factors <coughs> came in and the whole thing got uh, diverted. But uh, that I would not say too much about. Uh, I think uh, uh, cultural cooperation uh, is a uh, at the center of uh, overall cooperation among the South Asian countries. And uh, even if uh, there may be obstacles uh, in the way of uh, political cooperation, economic cooperation, I think cultural cooperation is the one which uh, uh, opens the door and should therefore be pursued irrespective of what happens in other fronts. Uh, another thing that I have believed very strongly is that uh, there is nothing called reciprocity in cultural cooperation. And it is quite uh, sounds ridiculous when you try reciprocity. That uh, I shall send my artist to your country only if you send your artist to my country. It is so stupid, uh, you know, even the thought of it. Uh, and I think that uh, even cultural cooperation should be pursued 
jury actually. Uh, in spite, even if because of other problems, uh, uh, the country which, which we are cooperating uh, may not be as forthcoming as we would like it to be. Uh, this has been both my belief and in practice I have done it whenever I had the opportunity of uh, doing so. Uh, I think uh, culture, literature, art is in net in a community, in a nation, uh, but uh, it needs to be cultivated. Uh, similarly, among nations, uh, uh, it gets enriched by interaction and by cross uh, fertilization. And therefore, it is extremely important that uh, such functions should be held from time to time. Uh, I would not like to go into um, how united we are in the realm of art and literature and culture in South Asia, how the poet of one country has inspired millions of young men and women of other countries, uh, how uh, some of the poets who decided to go to Pakistan and settle down there, uh, they were the uh, main inspirations of, uh, again, millions of people who fought for independence in India. I mean, who can forget uh, uh, Akbal Sari Jahan Sancha Hindustan Amara, irrespective of what he might have done for uh, Pakistan, irrespective of uh, uh, what he might have said later. But uh, these are, you know, immortalized uh, words and uh, immortal and immortalized words and will remain so uh, forever. And uh, there is no doubt that uh, uh, there is a, a group of poets and novelists uh, who are missing from this uh, gathering. Uh, it is uh, all that one can say is that uh, uh, it is uh, against our ethos, it is against uh, our philosophy and our own culture to try to avoid anyone. And I would like to quote uh, this very brief speech uh, with a uh, line from Tagore, which is in his poem Bharat uh, in the Gitanjali, where he says, Dibo uh, ar nibo, milabo miribo, jabo na fire, I don't think that you need translation. Okay. No, there are many, many non Bengali speakers. Well, I mean, basically, it said that uh, we will take and we will give, we will mix and help in people mixing with each other. We will never turn away uh, uh, from this uh, great uh, ocean of humanity. <coughs> that is India. Uh, now that I am here, he has been said that Ghera kare jada dure achse aji ajo bandha nasibe sabai ashibe jadabe ghire that even those who out of hatred or any reason are away today, even their shackles will break, uh, they would also come and will stand together. Thank you.